Charles and Sarah Peck may have missed the clamor and excitement of Chicago, or maybe with their daughters grown they didn't feel the need to remain in the country, or maybe soaring property values motivated them to sell. In any event, just 12 years after they established Winnetka, they moved back to the city. For the next 50 years, Peck's place went through a succession of varied owners. The Pecks sold their beloved mansion to John Garland Jr. for $20,000. Garland sold the house to Winnetka's first millionaire, Timothy Wright, for $50,000. Wright defaulted on the mortgage. The bank in turn sold Peck's place to the wealthiest woman in America, Hetty Green. Green was known as the Witch of Wall Street, not only for her bedraggled black clothes, but for her notoriously miserly ways. Despite a fortune in excess of $200 million, about $3.6 billion in today's currency, she lived like a pauper in cheap boarding houses. She disdained soap and hot water as wasteful luxuries. Paranoid of being poisoned, she cooked all her own food on a portable hot plate, mostly oatmeal. When her young son skinned his knee, she refused to pay for medical treatment. The wound became infected. The leg had to be amputated. Locals waited with great anticipation for the arrival of this infamous dowager. But it was not to be. Hetty Green never set foot in Winnetka. The house was just an investment to her. Peck's place stood dormant for years, like some oversized mausoleum ensconced behind locked iron gates. The mere sight of it sent chills down the spine of most children. At last, in 1909, Green sold it to a Glencoe developer who subdivided the 11-acre property, building many of the homes that still stand on Arbor Vita. Peck's place was finally demolished in 1913. Before Charles Peck left town, he donated one square block to become the town's first public park. This seemed silly to some since all of Winnetka was like a park at the time, but Peck was convinced that one day this would not be the case, and villagers would need open space. He donated the village common with strict orders that no building ever be constructed upon it, a wish that's been observed for over 150 years.